Hey guys, welcome to Hague's Dynasty. We got number 16 TCU on the schedule this week, and let's get right to it. As you can see here from Ramona, Texas, TCU stand out left end. He is going to be a driving force in that defense, and the Keystone State offensive line is really going to have to step up and play a real good game to protect Tyreek Hopkins from getting sacked multiple times, and even the running game itself. That left end is going to be a factor in. We gotta start off. We have to start off good. It's, it's the first Big 12 conference game of the season, and we kind of want to make this a statement game that we are going to be a driving factor in this conference and hopefully a factor in the BCS at the end of the season. As you can see, Keystone State, TCU. Let's get right to it. Junior red shirt Casey Paschal. Is going to find Sky Dawson here for the 12-yard touchdown early in the first quarter to make this a 7-0 game for TCU. It's not really the way we're looking to start off, but again, junior wide receiver Josh Bryce is going to catch a 39-yard touchdown pass from Paschal. Not again. It's it's still not the way we wanted to start off. A 14-0 deficit to begin with is not really the way you want to play when you're the underdog coming into the game. You see the TCU crowds all fired up, but again we answer back. Chauncey Brown, the senior halfback, is going to pound it in for a three-yard touchdown here. Pretty big play there to make this a 14-7 game. They're going to see here Hopkins dropping back. is going to bomb it to Terrell Moore to tie up the game at 14-all. That is huge to let TC know, you know that we're not going to roll over, not going to cower and uh, give up. We're going to fight back and hopefully come back and take the lead and end up winning this game. See, our Keystone stays all pumped up. Then we got sophomore Gerard Dockery is going to jump the comeback route. And one interesting thing about this, he is actually the number two halfback on the depth chart in the number three corner. He's a dual player who knows how to play offense and defense well. At 14 all three, third quarter with a minute and 40 some seconds left, junior kicker Mitch Stokes is going to nail the 53 yarder to give Keystone State a 17 14 lead. Now tied up at 17 17. Stokes again is going to drill the 35 yarder to give Keystone State the lead again. But back comes TCU. Paschal is going to find sophomore wide receiver David Porter for the 76 yard score, and that is a killer to keep coming back, tying and actually going ahead by three points a couple of times. Late 40 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Hopkins is going to drop back and it's going to get picked off to end the game by junior red shirt free safety Trent Thomas. That is going to seal it up and the upset is not going to happen today in Texas. It's a real disappointment. He had the wide receiver open just couldn't end up throwing more of a bullet than he needed to. He should have lofted it over the wide receiver. May have had a chance to score but again it was the end of the game and you need to take chances when you're down by four so not really the great way to end the game or the start of the season I was hoping we win a few more games before if we took a loss if any but again this bomb the 76 yard bomb to David Porter is going to be the play of the game I was hoping it would be one of our highlights it's going to be the play of the game but again the game's over what can you do See a couple highlights of the game here. See our touchdown catch there. Again, that's Porter and a 76-yarder. Uh, we got Ball State coming up next week, and I think that could be a win for us. I hope to see you guys again soon, and I thank you.